Uh, good morning everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys have had an amazing day so far or amazing evening or wherever you are amazing day night early hours of the morning i hope it's going well now today i want to share with you something i'm so excited to share with you actually is my homemade calendula recipe now this is something i've been wanting to make for a few months now i want to make my own i thought it'd be a cool experiment to give it a go i've never made it before so this is the first time you're seeing this so hopefully fingers crossed it goes well i have pretty high hopes it'll be all right but i'm so so excited to share this with you now this is the calendula flowers that i bought at biomi stores dried calendula flowers actually i might buy um, back in my queensland vlog when i was up in the gold coast they had a store for biomi it was like my hub. There's all plastic free, toxin free, ethically made, ethically sourced, natural products in there, which is just like, it's my place to be. So I was so excited to visit that place. It's probably one of my highlights of the trip, to be honest. Now I'm going to use dried calendula leaves today because that's what I have. But you can alternatively opt to use just some calendula oil because that will skip a bit of the process. However, if you don't have that and you have leaves like I do, you're going to make the oil to then make the cream with. So. Let's get to that. But if you already have the oil, you can just skip this step and move straight on to the cream part. I'm going to get started on making the calendula infused oil. So to get started on the oil, you're going to need some calendula leaves. Now, optimally you want to get dried calendula leaves because if you make the oil and the leaves have, to have moisture still in them, it will make the oil go rancid. I'm just like, uh, uh you don't want that. So you want to either, if you have fresh leaves, dry them out to ensure that there's no moisture left in them or to get dried calendula leaves already then you're going to need some olive oil because that's what the leaves are going to soak in to infuse the calendula oil in that then you're going to need a glass jar to keep it in while it sits for a few weeks alternatively again another thing you can do i'll just show you Another thing you can do is actually to do the fast version and use a slow cooker however my mum is using the slow cooker today to make some soup with so i will be showing you how to do it with the crock pot tomorrow but for now i'll just show you the oil version and then i'll show you the crock pot version but if you want to do the slow cooker one it is much quicker because the oil needs to sit for quite a few weeks whereas the crock pot is only 24 hours but i'll show you both to give you some choice so we're going to get started on making the infused calendula oil so let's get started and sorry about all that tweeting i know this happens in most of my videos every time i talk our bird ellie she just talks back so when i'm talking she'll exactly keep talking over the top of me so you may hear a lot of tweeting in this video i apologize so what you're going to do is fill a glass jar two-thirds of the way with those dried calendula leaves then you're going to pour in the olive oil until it covers about one inch above the calendula leaves because you want to leave space for the flowers to expand then you're just going to stir the mixture together well and then cap it tightly so it's airtight then you're just going to place the jar on a warm sunny windowsill where lots of light can get to it and keep it warm and you're just going to shake it at least once daily or more then after four to six weeks you're just going to strain out the herbs using a cheesecloth so you'll get the oils at the bottom and you'll keep the flowers at the top collected in that cheesecloth and then you can pour the infused oil into some glass jars and keep in a cool dry place and you're ready to go so you can keep those oils for separate uses and then you can use whatever you need for the cream now they say it is preferred to infuse the oils using the solar sun method rather than doing it in the crock pot however if you do need it quickly this also works well by just adding a little of heat to it all right so i'm going to quickly show you the oil infused calendula oil i've just decided to use a smaller jar just so i can save some of the flowers to use for the slow cooker version but if you guys aren't doing both you can just use a bigger glass jar to pour the flowers in or you can use a small one as well and just save the flowers for a later date Just making a bit of a mess like it's a, a must when cooking <laughs> that'll do so these are what they look like the actual calendula leaves when they're dried and they smell absolutely amazing now to add in the oil
Okay, so it's the next day. So my mum's finished using the crock pot in the kitchen and my herbs are going very nicely <laughs> behind the wetsuit. Just down here, they're sitting well. So they'll be going for another four to six weeks. So they're not going to be ready for a while. So we'll just leave those there. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with the crock pot today. So this is the second method of how to make this calendula oil. It's probably a faster way, but they do recommend doing the slow version of the four to six weeks one. I think it yields just a better oil, but you can do it this way as well. So like Let's get to it. So I've got my crock pot ready to go and my other herbs and I've got two bottles of olive oil because this one's almost run out. So this one's very similar to the other one. You're just going to fill the crock pot with how much of the herbs that you want and then you just need to pour olive oil or another carrier oil that you're using so it could be coconut oil or there's another way you can do it where you do both coconut and olive oil. So you're going to put the herbs at the bottom then you're going to fill the oil just one to two inches above the herbs. Then you want to gently heat the herbs over very low heat. So around 38 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius or for people who use Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. For about one to five hours or until the oil starts to take on the color of the herb which is calendula, so it'll be a bit of a yellow color. Other people do recommend doing it a different way where you just keep the temperature at a controlled level of around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius, and you just keep it on that controlled temperature for 48 to 72 hours. So you can do either option and see which one works best for you. Then you just want to turn the heat off and allow the mixture to cool. And then strain the herbs out of it using a cheesecloth and you can pour the oil that's left and remaining at the bottom into some sterilized dry glass jars or glass bottles and you can just use how much you need for the cream later on and then store the rest for later use for other things now it's important to note that you store the calendula oil in a dry cool dark place and it only lasts for up to six months so it's recommended not to keep it past then so i hope you got all that but if you didn't i'm going to go through it now anyway again in live format Might just spread it out a little bit so that it's not a huge clump in the middle. Now I'll add the oil. It's come to find me. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting for the herb oil to finish, I'm sorting out and posting some of the flotation devices, so like floaties and things, that I found at work. So these are just old floaties that would have been thrown into the bin. So I'm going to pop them into those old boxes that I got from packages and things that I bought or got given. <laughs> I'm going to pack them in there and send them to New Zealand and ship them to this New Zealand company where they actually turn these flotations and inflatable flotations, these inflatables into awesome bags. So this is the company here. I absolutely love them. So they take inflatables that no one's going to use anymore. So either they've been broken or people just throw them out and you can actually send them to her and she'll make them into these awesome cute little bags and things. So definitely recommend checking her out. She's from New Zealand and honestly it's such a great idea to reuse these old inflatables that would otherwise be thrown to landfill and because they're plastic will take forever to break down. So yeah that's what I'm doing today. So I'm sorting out that into that to then post to New Zealand. <sighs> Where to begin? <laughs> As you can see, they need to be pushed in a little bit, but otherwise they fit really well and I just had just enough boxes to fit everything in. Yeah! Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do a montage of me doing things like this in the future when I repack or send off different parcels or if I'm doing a montage of cleaning or anything. Let me know if you want me to do montages like that in the future rather than just cut to the end result. Otherwise, yeah, I'll see you guys in another 24 hours or 48 or 72.
So it's been 48 hours later. So I kept it at the same 38 degrees Celsius temperature the whole time for that 48 hours. I didn't do the 38 degrees to 60 degrees Celsius one for this one. I just kept it at 38 and just did the slow heat over the 48 hours and it's finished. So as you can see, it's all ready to go. It has that nice yellow color from the flowers. Now I've just sterilized a glass jar to put the oil in. Other options you can use are just smaller different individual glass jars that you've sterilized that can also be that dark color on the outside to prevent light getting into it which may be a better option but I didn't have any of those with me today so I'm just going to use this glass jar that I've already sterilized with hot water just make sure that you let this cool once you've turned the heat off oh and I also forgot to mention you need a strainer to strain out the flowers as well as you're pouring it into your glass jar So I've just got the remnants of the flowers from the oil and I'm just popping them into my compost outside. So instead of throwing them in the bin, you can choose to pop them in your compost instead or throw them or sprinkle them, rather than throw, onto your garden where they'll give a lot of nutrients to the soil. So just another alternative rather than just throwing them out and wasting them in a sense. So there's my compost just there. I'm going to pop them into that. Yum. So now it's all ready to go for calendula cream, but I've got to wait for the beeswax pellets to arrive because I've ordered them from Biomi stores online. So that will be a few days. So until then I'm going to store it in a nice, cool, dry, dark place just in here. So we're back. It's been a couple of days later and I finally have my beeswax. It's arrived. So I got two because they only came in this size, unfortunately. Because you need about one ounce of beeswax and that's about four tablespoons worth. So I guesstimated that this would be enough. Then you're going to need some essential oils of your choice. Now I'm going to use some, I was going to see which one this was, grapefruit and lavender essential oils today. So they're just my choice of preference today, but you can use whatever you like really. You're also going to need one cup of tepid water, which just basically means lukewarm water. And then finally, you're just going to need about a few jars worth, maybe also sterilize them before you use them just to make sure that the cream doesn't go off any earlier than it needs to. And then you're good to go. So let's get started in making the cream part of this recipe. The part we've all been waiting for. I'm so excited to show you guys. So to begin with, we're going to need about several cups worth of water and we need to bring it to a boil in a saucepan. And then once you've boiled it, you're going to then turn it down to a simmer so the water is just simmering in the pan. And then you're going to make a double boiler out of it. So you can either put a heat proof bowl on top and put the beeswax and the oil in there or we can get a glass jar and just put that into the simmering water. Make sure it's staying above the level though. You don't want the water entering into the glass jar. I'm going to put a bowl on top. Just I find that easier for me. So let's start by doing that. So I've just finished boiling the water. As you can see just down there. So I'm going to now turn it down to a simmer. So now I'm going to pop my bowl onto it. So that's ready to go. Now I'm going to pop in the four tablespoons or one ounce of beeswax. And the one cup of calendula oil. And I'm going to let that sit on the stove until the beeswax has melted and then you're going to pour it into a blender just here. I have to put two cups of boiling water into this just to sort of preheat it so when I put the oil and beeswax mixture into here it won't start to harden because it's cold so this will keep this warm and then you're going to put the lid on and then we'll just go from there. <laughs> So now, because it's just plastic, I didn't want to put the hot water in too early in case it like melts it or deteriorates it in any way. So now I'm going to put the two cups of hot water into the blender just to preheat it. So when we put the calendula cream in it, it doesn't start to harden. I'm just going to let that sit there for a little bit, just to heat up a bit. And then I'm going to tip it out and then put the beeswax oil mix in there. Okay, so that's just been in like a minute or two. So I'm just going to tip that out and then fill it with the beeswax oil mix. So now you're going to add in your essential oils. So I'm just going to add in about five drops of grapefruit and about seven drops of lavender. Now essential oils are quite strong so you only need 
a little bit. And you can adjust the quantities to how much of each that you want. It's gonna stir that through really quick. So now when you put the lid on, you want to actually leave the pouring hole open because you're gonna add in the tepid water, which is just that lukewarm water, in through there slowly. Now ours actually has it at the top, so I'm just gonna take this off and put it through that way. So with the drizzling of the tepid water, you just do it slowly. You may need to scrape, scrape, scrape down the sides of the blender every so often because it may stick to the sides. So they are the cream starting to go. I've just stopped it because I need to mix it through a little bit because it's still stuck. So I'm just going to mix that through and then pour the last little bit of remaining water in. Blend that up. And then we're ready to pop it into our sterilized jars. So to sterilize them, I basically just sat them in hot, boiling hot water. Now I'm letting them dry out because you don't want any water at the bottom because it can cause the cream to separate and go rancid. That is so good. Look at that. Perfect. So there you are, I'll mix it through a bit more because as you can see the sides are a little bit not quite mixed through. So I'm going to fix, finish mixing that in and then we're going to pop it into our jars. So it's a little bit runnier but as the beeswax starts to harden it will go a bit more, um, more cream like. Done. So they are finished now. They're all good to go. You just need to let them set for several hours until they become that cream calendula like consistency. So you just let them set out in room temperature. So you just rub it in like that. Like so. And you have your healing cream. Today's comment of the day goes to Kate Barbosa. Thank you for leaving such a beautiful comment on my video for the Queensland vlog, my first week there. You guys are so beautiful to watch and comment on my vlogs. I'm so, so grateful. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in future videos of mine. Just keep in mind when you're doing this recipe that there's a lot of cleaning up afterwards. I had to soak half my pans in hot water just to get the beeswax off everything and the oil. But totally worth it for this beautiful baby yeah. right here. Yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do want to see more videos like this, feel free to check out my playlist right next to me on one of these sides and you guys can see more videos like this one in the future. Otherwise, I hope to see you in my future videos. Bye.